There's this ancient Japanese art form called Duradango. I think I'm saying it correctly. It sounds like a cool Pokemon, but it's not. It's the ancient art of turning dirt into this like perfect shiny ball. And guess how much they're selling for? You probably won't guess $80, but they are. Oh my goodness, I just found one that's $155. That's crazy. Like it was probably made from this dirt in the flower bed behind it. The mission is simple. I'm gonna see if I can make one within the next 24 hours. And yes, before you question it, it will be a great use of time because it's gonna be the best dang Duradango you've ever seen. First things first, I need to get some dirt. And I don't want just any plain normal dirt. I want some special dirt that tells a bit of a story and means something important to me. On September 2nd, 2018, I married my beautiful wife, Allie, and it was the best day ever. We had the wedding here on the property and we did everything outside, the reception and the ceremony. So if I can pinpoint the exact spot we stood and set our vows, then that's gonna be like the most special dirt I could ever find. I'm thinking right about here is uh, the exact spot. Treasure? Did I find treasure? Nope, just a rock. I have no idea how much I actually need, so I'm just gonna fill that up. Yeah, I think that'll do. Oh, we got a little worm in there. Don't want you in our Duradango, sir. Mission accomplished. We got our dirt. And now from what I've read online, the next step is to sort out the bigger chunks and like the twigs and all the other stuff. So I got this strainer and we're gonna see if that works. I used this strainer yesterday to make pasta, and now today, it's straining some dirt. I've nailed down the technique. Look at that little wrist action. I think that'll do. Look at that, we got nothing but the good stuff now. The next step is to add some water so that we can form the mud ball shape. Just kind of eyeballing it here. I don't know <laughs> if there's a correct ratio or not. Time to get the hands dirty. Whoa, it feels so weird. It's soft, but squishy at the same time. Can you guys appreciate that, uh, all the extra work that's gonna go into moving this camera around for the different angles with such messy hands? It reminds me of like brownie batter or something. Some sort of forbidden chocolate baking going on right now. It's got a long way to go until it's a, a perfect shiny sphere, but I think, I think that's the beginning of it right there. I just read it online that it's got to chill inside of a bag uh, to harden up a bit for like eight to 12 hours, which is going to impact my 24 hour time limit but we're just gonna go for it and I'll probably just have to wake up really early tomorrow. <sighs> but who needs sleep? I got priorities. I gotta make a mud ball, obviously much more important. It's definitely hardened up quite a bit. I only have five hours left to make this happen and the next step is using this mason jar to smooth it out and turn it into the perfect sphere. This was actually a really relaxing way to start the day. Like, listen to that, it, it was so soothing. It's starting to look pretty darn circular, if you ask me. Let's go. But I thought it could become even more of a perfect circle, so I just kept going for the next 45 minutes or so. Now, you use some of this dry dirt from the other day, and then apparently, you just sprinkle it on, 
and then gently rub it in and repeat this process for like an hour or more. Spoiler alert, it was more. I was doing this for almost three hours. Legit, the sun was coming up, the birds were chirping, and I was just working away, smoothing out my dirt ball. Here's me in warp speed. I wish it was actually this fast. But here's a more accurate representation of the speed it was actually going. Time is just sort of blurring together at this point. It feels like I've been doing this for, for days. I'm just one with the dirt. But I am making really good progress. Here's how it looks. I gotta be honest though, uh, it is well past the 24 hour time frame that I was really confident I could hit originally. What's that saying? Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day? Well, neither was my Durdongo. You can't rush the, the perfection. Look at this. Look at this beautiful masterpiece of dirt. I'm almost ready to move on to the final step though. It's time to make it shine. This is gonna be the most satisfying reveal ever. Apparently you can use wax or like a spray on shining solution to help speed it up, but not me. We're sticking to the traditional ancient Japanese techniques and just using the hands. And if it takes another two hours, so be it. Hopefully not, but. Whew. Okay, I think it's finally done. You know I gotta do a dramatic reveal for you. What started as just a pile of dirt is now a beautiful Duradongo. Check that out. It kind of feels like a giant marble. Look at it. Oh, I'm so proud of it. And also very thankful that it's done. <laughs> it's dark out again. That's how long I've been creating this masterpiece for. <laughs> this is my new prized possession. And I understand now why that other one was 155 bucks. Doesn't seem so crazy anymore. Hey, Connor here. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching this video and check out another one if you want to. And surprise, su surprise, I can't even speak. Subscribe too.